All right, guys. So that's fish number 100, <laughs> perch number 100. Uh, obviously, we weren't gonna show reeling in 100 fish. We've been keeping every perch that we've caught that's over eight inches, which these are huge for white perch, if, if you know about white perch. And um, so now what we really wanna show you is taking you to the magic spot where we caught all the fish last time. So stay tuned for that and the redfish. All right, we're pulling up on the magic spot now. Garrett, what's your prediction? Start. All right, we're rolling up on the magic spot right here. It's got in between two bushes. We've got an abandoned house here. And watch the magic fish. Oh. Nice little perch. Oh, okay. Now this one. Probably eight inches, maybe, but he's skinny, so we're gonna get more. Apparently, the magic spot doesn't only produce the giants or the redfish, it also produces this. Hooked up on another fish, magic spot. This is number 100. Came up and ate it on the top. What we found today is that they like to be right this time of year, uh, August. You like orange baits up against the grass, and it's just unreal how fast they're biting. I'm getting bites right now, but. It's from ones that are too small until one just big enough bites. 110. A little further than the, the main spot. Another decent one out of the spot. So we've moved back to our original spot because the magic spot did not produce. Just caught a 10 inch perch to add to our many. And it's it's basically every cast right now. And it's, that was number 121. 125. One twenty six. Update. One forty three have been caught now. Garrett just caught this giant. We are doubled up for one fifty. One hundred and fifty perch. Now we hadn't keep one hundred fifty. One hundred and fifty caught. So obviously we're not showing every catch, but uh, Garrett just caught this red fish, red drum. And uh, it was his first one ever, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna give this guy a release. What we're doing here is we ended up getting, we ended up catching 200, but we didn't keep 200. And I'm filleting them now. These are some of the fillets that I've already done here. Um, with perch, you don't get that big of fillets, but I'm doing the best I can getting all the meat off of there. And so basically, what I'm gonna do is you just wanna clamp their head so that they don't slide on you and then you're gonna lift up the tail and or not the tail the fin and just go in right there until you meet the spine and then from there you're just gonna go straight down but don't cut it off let it flap and then get all the meat off of there so I'm gonna go ahead and do the first part and then check to show this so now I've gone and I've cut it to here where it's still connected there. And then you're gonna flip it back 
and just cut the meat off of there and then you'll have a nice filet. So I'm gonna go. So I went ahead and got that off and this is what I got left of the filet. I took this little bony part off um, and it, if you want you can cook that and pick through the bones but this has no bones in it and it came right off. It should look just like that when you're done. Okay. Like that. And then you're gonna dip it in here. You just want it to be like a light coating. Okay? And then we're gonna go back in here just to get that on the flour. And then we're gonna go back into the flour. And now that's coated. There it is. Over there. I don't want to lose the